Hello guys, my name is Armin. Today in our journey learning AutoCAD, I'm gonna share with you what is polar tracking, what is ortho, what is the dynamic tool tip, and also I'm gonna show you how to set up the units. Without further ado, let's jump into AutoCAD to try and see all of these new tips. So Autodesk AutoCAD has two versions. So one of them is the Autodesk AutoCAD, which is the complete version of the AutoCAD. And the other version, it's called AutoCAD LT, which is a lighter version, has less features, and you cannot use 3D or sheet set on the LT version. So the LT is mostly just for 2D drawing, so you cannot have access to 3D. So when you open up the AutoCAD, um, you can go to new. I'm going to have a new, basically, uh, page. The first thing that you can see is uh, the application. So right here, you can have new drawings, open, save, import, export, publish, and print, which is going to go through all of them. You have the ribbon on top. Right here, you have all the add-ins. If you have anything, it's going to show. These are the panels. That you guys can see you have the drawing panels you have modifying annotation and so forth at the bottom right here this is really important this is a command bar um, so any um, any command that you click on you'll be able to see the next step here basically asking you what what needs to be done and then down here at the bottom that is the status bar so if you do not have the status bar right here you can go here on the customization and you can click on it and basically you can select each of these items that you want is going to be added to this bar so if you don't see these items you want to add more you can click on customization and you can bring everything up um, so what i'm going to start here is i want to use just the line command so every single command in AutoCAD has a shortcut key uh, or you can click on it or you're familiar with it you can have a shortcut key so L is for line M is for move and whatnot so right now I'm just gonna click on it as you guys can see telling me specify a first point so I'm gonna specify one point let's just have one um, like a rectangular shape over here so if I want to finish and cancel a command I just hit skip so when you hit escape, it's going to cancel the command. You don't have to do it. But if you want to continue the same command, you just press the space bar. So if I press the space bar, it's going to go back to the preview selected command for me. So I can basically know how to do it. So let me just do, let's say, another shape like this. And then I'm going to hit escape, cancel the command. So this is basically you can use spacebar to repeat the command also you can hit escape to cancel the command um, so let's just talk about navigation you guys can see the bar right here um, this is the, all the uh, navigation that you guys see right there but it's recommended in AutoCAD to just use the mouse buttons so you have the right uh, button left button and the mouse so the mouth is basically when I push it down I'm able to move the drawing right I, if I scroll scroll for zoom in and zoom out if I click um, the left key and then um, basically create a window selection only selects all the items that are inside the window right but if I click the, um, basically on, if, if I click on the right hand side and drag over it only selects the item that basically we having all the basically uh, the, the, the dash line of the window selects so you select any component that is getting touched by the window but if you doing from the left hand side it basically all the component then is going to be inside the window so I'm going to hit um, escape, everything goes away. So the other um, system that you want to use is this lasso. 
lasso I'm just holding on it and I'm moving it and basically you can kind of click on the item so you let me hit skip one more time so I am moving from the right hand side just holding the left button on my mouse and then kind of going so anything that this one touches basically selects right so if you have a really complicated shape you can kind of use this but I've never used it I just use um, the kind of the whole window item so you guys can see right there or I'm just kind of using the uh, the left side so anything that I touch and I want to select um, so the next item that I want to um, share with you guys is basically just going to units so this is really important first you start a drawing you need to set your units right uh, and for the units what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just type UN so UN is for the unit you don't have to do anything you can basically just start typing in AutoCAD and it picks up the command you don't have to go to the command bar you can kind of type it over there as you guys can see and it's gonna pick it up so I'm gonna hit um, enter and it's gonna open up the command for me right so right here you can select what exactly you want if you want to go unit list you select the unit list if you want to go inches that's what I'm gonna pick or a uh, different line item so um, this is all we have if you want to get a fit in inches and with the precision exactly what you want want to show the drawing you can pick this also you can do the same things for angle um, you want to do radian, gradients, you know, degree minute or just the small degrees. It's up to you. You can and also right here it basically gives you the precision, whatever you want. So I'm going to kind of select this. You can see the, the preview of what is going on over here. And that's going to be kind of easy to select. OK, so I kind of identify my unit. But I'm going to show you guys with the line tool the this is a really really good um, kind of help tool we call it dynamic tool tip so and you can kind of turn these on and off by pushing F12 so if, if I kind of push F12 turn it off turn it back on and you can kind of use this right so the first box is the length it's gonna tell you what is gonna be and then I can basically use the tab to kind of move from one to the other um, tab. So right now it's basically telling me specify a point. I'm gonna do it right. So I'm gonna specify one point. Um, if I want to put, um, let's say I don't know, like one feet. So I'm just gonna click on that. So I'm gonna say okay. So that's one. That's what I need. And then right now it's asking me for a specific angle, right? So what is the angle that I want to draw my line? So this is a, a, a polar tracking and the polar tracking gives you a length and then the angle. So you, I, I don't know, let's say just put 45 degrees over here and then like all the lines that I'm going to draw over here, whatever it is, is going to be at a 45 angles, right? And it's going to go back and forth in this area. Um, I can kind of move it like now you can see it's going to be 2588 right and if I go let me just hit escape over here you guys can see these um, right here in the down at the status bar so this is a pull out tracking you can turn these on and off right so I can uh, click on the drop down next to it and I can set these um, uh, basically angles so if I want to only work at 90 180 270 360 I select that one if I want to work at 30 60 90 120 basically it's only picking those location like those angles that I'm kind of going right it's setting the angles it locks that direction so I can draw it so I want to make sure that he's selected so if I want to let's say start and I just want to make sure that like what what degrees is gonna kind of lock so you guys can see when I stay on 30 it tells me this is what you selected you can see the green line right it's going but if I move it that green line is not so if I go to 60 you can show me the grid line I can go to 90 you know so these are these are basically those areas are gonna lock it for me and tell me these are the, the um, those exact angles that you selected so you can basically use this if you want to have a continuous line 
and you want to put it different angles this is gonna log the line in the direction that you want based on the angle so you can specify um, some desired set of angles and basically you go off of it and you want to make sure that you pull our tracking is on so let me just hit escape I'm out of that so the next one that I want you to kind of take a look at it is this ortho so the ortho which is f8 is gonna lock this stuff on um, so I'm gonna put line into okay so the ortho is basically doing it in only 90 degrees right so I cannot do anything else only I can draw 0 90 0 90 and that's going to be a really really great way to make sure you are only drawing on the uh, like a x and y and zero angle and then um, on a basically 90 degree angle so just make sure you uh, are familiar with ortho you're familiar with the polar tracking and this is going to be a really really great tool to kind of use it during all of these uh, items that we're kind of going through thank you guys for watching today's episode in learning autocad if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below if you like to learn a different tool or a different panel in autocad so i can make a video that can help you out in your daily workflow Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.